my holy brothers and sisters and friends, hi. What's your ultimate purpose in life? I was having a little chat with a couple of buddies this morning. We were talking about, could we participate in any particular profession? Or was our profession our specific purpose? You know, if we were a painter or a lawyer, does it matter? What is our real ultimate goal for our lives? Well, I, I kind of feel like every person is going to have their unique things that they need to work on for their soul. But really, we are created, Ram Khal says that we are created to delight in God, that we actually want to have a delight in our Creator. Wouldn't that be amazing? To delight in your Creator? Of course, this world is not probably the best place <laughs> to get that delight in our Creator, right? It's the world to come where we all feel like, okay, in that place, we will delight in our Creator. But we can have a taste of that delight in this world whenever we begin to have thankfulness and we begin to have gratitude. I want you guys to think about maybe just taking 10 minutes today and get away from any distraction that you can. Get to a place that's quiet. If it's inside your closet or just a place where you can plug your ears from the world around you. And thank the Creator. Begin to develop an attitude of gratitude. And give Him thanks. Thank Him for your feet. Thank Him for your arms. Thank Him for your eyes. Thank Him for your ears. Just thank Him for everything. Thank Him for your beautiful friends, beautiful family, whatever you have in your life. Even just the beautiful potential of listening to a really fun song. Right? Um, thank Him for those wonderful opportunities. Spend 10 minutes. That's it. Just spend 10 minutes today and be in gratitude. So that world to come, right, is something that we all want to participate in so that we can really take delight in our Creator. But we have to travel through this world in order to get to that place, um, that place and time. We all have our certain corrections, like we were saying, whether we're lawyers or painters or landscapers, housewives, house husbands, <laughs> house parents, single parents. We all have certain things about ourselves and our souls that need correction. And this world is the place where we go about making those create those um, corrections and everything in this world is a test oh look I can see in the video <laughs> life is a test <laughs> that is exactly correct everything that you're gonna face is a test so today we work to pass that test and then tomorrow we dwell with God I think it was um, King Solomon that he said one thing I ask and that do I seek is to dwell in the house of the Lord and uh, to study with him or something like that I don't remember exactly the verse but um, how do I how do I um, achieve like that perfection of my soul right the things that I need to correct without tests I have to have the tests the tests have to come for me to be able to um, you know take the test and pass and get the and get the good grade so how would I how would I honor my mom and dad how would I honor your father and mother how would that happen if I didn't have a mom and dad. If I didn't have this world in which to participate so that I could pass the test of honoring 
mother and father. And it wouldn't be much of a test if it was easy, right? All of the things that we have in our lives that seem to be such difficulties, they are tests. And we have to realize that tests are not always easy. If they were easy, we'd pass them all the time. So try your best in that 10 minutes today to be thankful for the test. Because the test is what's really helping you to grow into the person that God wants you to be. And it's helping you grow to take delight in your Creator, even in this world. All the circumstances that you face are orchestrated and set up for you to make a choice. Are we going to choose to take a pleasure in our physicality and our lusts and uh, the things of this particular present time? Or are we going to choose to work on our spirituality? Are we going to be bitter about our tests or are we going to be better from our tests? Choose the better. Choose life. For sure. When we um, control ourselves and we choose that better, then we're not uh, we're not degrading ourselves. We're elevating ourselves. We have uh, goats. Uh, we raise a small herd of goats, and the goats are. Uh, pretty much motivated by food. <laughs> if you have a little bit of grain and you kind of shake the can, well, they will come running no matter how uh, far away they are or how fat they are. <laughs> We've seen some pretty pregnant goats run pretty fast because we shook the little can of grain. And they're so motivated just by that grain that it's really quite an amazing thing to see. And they want to get through um, push each other out of the way and get through whatever they can in order to get to that grain. They're very headstrong, um, motivated by food. Now, lots of us are headstrong and motivated by many things in this world, be it food or be it entertainment and be it lusts. We're, we want to um, push other people out of the way so that we can get to that thing that we're trying to um, gain for ourselves. So it's a test. Right? We have to see that those things are tests. And can we pass? I know absolutely that we can because God would not give us anything that we wouldn't be able to actually pass. So here you go, guys. Take 10 minutes today. Thank God for the tests because if he did not love you, he would not give you the test. Have a great day.